Welcome back to part five of the Manipulating the Math series where we're working with base 10 blocks. Let's model multi-digit multiplication, first starting with whole numbers and then I have a decimal example after this. We want to connect this multiplication representation to the area model. When doing this, we're wanting to find that space inside, also known as the area of this rectangle. Using base 10 blocks will hold that place value whenever we're multiplying our factors. So we have modeled 10 times 10, two groups of 10, four groups of 10, and four groups of two. Now we have a visual of the partial products within our area model. So 14 times 12 is 168. Here's an example of trying to find products of decimals. It's very important for your students to understand what value your base 10 blocks are representing. So I'm labeling the value of the rod and the unit cubes. You can see it's the same exact strategy that we use with whole numbers whenever we're trying to fill in the area model to find those partial products. So imagine if those younger grades are using the area model with whole numbers. It won't be such a shock whenever they use this same strategy when multiplying decimals. Here I had to rename 10 tenths as one whole and the final product is three and two tenths. 